Hi, I'm Kristen Oxner, a physician assistant at Skin and Beauty Center in Burbank, California, and I'm going to talk a little bit about seborrheic dermatitis. Seborrheic dermatitis is a very common skin disorder. It affects people of all ages. In infancy, it's commonly known as cradle cap. Um, it is thought to be due to an overgrowth of yeast on the skin, but nobody's 100% sure what exactly causes it. Um, it causes a red, scaly, kind of greasy rash that usually occurs around the nose, around the eyebrows, inside and outside of the ears, on the scalp. Um, sometimes it can occur in other places like the chest, the back, the abdomen, but it's usually a seen on the face. Um, it's also thought to be uh, due to more oily skin and hair. Um, UV rays have been found to be beneficial, so it typically flares during winter months when we're not outside as much, and then improves during the summer months. To diagnose it, we typically just have to look at it and know what's going on. Um, Treatment-wise, it's usually treated pretty easily. Um, you can start with over-the-counter shampoos that contain tar, selenium sulfide, um, ketoconazole, salicylic acid. If those don't work, um, I'd recommend seeing a dermatologist for a prescription medication containing a corticosteroid or an antifungal. Usually seborrheic dermatitis will flare and remit, so it, you may have it for a month or two and then it'll get better for a while and then it'll come back. So any treatment you're given or you find that works, just make sure you have it on hand so when you see it returning, you can start using the treatment again. If you have any questions about seborrheic dermatitis or any other skin conditions, feel free to visit us at dermla.com or you can give us a call at 818-842-8000.